Welcome everyone. I am here with Larry Olufsen, a Canadian singer, songwriter and founder of Power Songs. Larry is a summit speaker at this year's Voice and Song Summit, which we titled Find Your Voice, Change Your Life. And it's happening on the 1st of April. So thank you, Larry, for joining me today. Hey, great to be here, Aideen, in second year for this summit. Fantastic. It's so exciting. And I keep doing things a little bit better than I did last year um, and updating things. And I'm kind of impressed that I'm able to do this at all, to be honest. But oh, um, yeah. we are we have a great group of people together. And really, it was the people that brought this summit into existence last year when I met so many interesting voice experts and songwriters that we're using the voice and song for more than just performance, more than just showing off what you can do and more for, you know, kind of deepening your connection with yourself, empowerment, manifestation. And you are particularly interesting because you specialize in songwriting for manifestation and intention setting. Tell us a little bit about what you do, Larry. Well, you know, I I do do that, but the focus that I have this time is a little bit different because, um, you know, last year when we were doing that, that was my main my main approach, and it was still and still a, a big piece of having a. I, I create song brands for uh, thought leaders and for entrepreneurs and businesses, and it's a way for them to really get clear about what it is that they offer and kind of step into that so so that they they broadcast that with their to people and they reach their their hearts and their minds but they also in the process of creating that um it does actually have them step into a more powerful place in themselves they get a lot of clarity around who they are what they stand for and it often creates a lot of opportunities for them to get feedback from other people um on that uh too when we write the song um so um yeah so they in a sense they do st step into manifesting more of that powerful sense of who they are and and really kind of broadcast it to the world more absolutely so just to really break it down for people that may be kind of wondering well, how does that really work you you really help you write a song with someone who has a business Yes. And, and you they, put they, into that what their mission is and how they help people. Yeah, pretty much. It's, you know, if they have a tagline already, then, uh, you know, words, music, melody makes things so much easier to remember. They stick. It makes it, I mean, not easier. It makes it impossible to forget it. So it makes it unforgettable. And it also captures... Um, uh, it, it creates a feeling like the the McDonald's logo ba -da -ba -ba -da, is, um, you know, it creates this feeling of lightness and and connection that you have to a company that's arguably not doing the most, you know, uh, healthy uh, offering on the planet. But, the, you know, it creates a connection like that. And that's what music can do is it, it instantly uh, builds trust. It creates, gives people an emotional sense, a sense of who you are and what you're about. And, and then when it sticks in your head, like after you leave that call or you, you know, you, either whatever you're after your exposure to that tagline, you'll find yourself singing it again, if it's catchy, right? Yes. But, but music has this way of like, it, it creates a certain feeling like somewhere over, right? Somewhere over the rainbow, somewhere. It's really hard not to feel lifted up by those two notes, just that interval. But, but, you know, all you need is love. That's John Lennon could have just said, all you, all you, you know, all you need is love and no one would remember it but because he's saying it but he didn't and, and you know he could write melodies the, those guys could write melodies but they didn't write all you need is love they wrote all you need is love on one note so that the whole world could sing it yeah. so there's nobody that couldn't sing it so melodies are really in a very practical sense um are a delivery method you know for a message the way I see it. And so it's, you know, what emotion do you want to create for your brand or for you? What do you, how do you want people to feel about your work as a, you know, as a thought leader or as a business, um, you know, as an entrepreneur? 
Wow. Uh, so, Very good. Yeah. Very exciting so it's, because I think it's, it's, it's an yeah. un charted kind of territory it's like people maybe use a jingle or like they might have like I have a little bit of music at the beginning of the podcast and stuff like that but this is a different level so tell me why this and why it was important for you to come onto the summit this year with this new message well I just see it as being like you said people don't know about it they sort of think about jingles uh, and jingles are, you know, kind of what these are in a sense, but they they think of them as fluff and and kind of not important. But also the, the field has changed because it used to be in the old days, the only people that could afford to have a jingle were huge companies that that had big budgets for airplay because, you know, the only way to reach people was with um, radio or TV ads. But now, you know, now you can get free airplay in so many places, you know, on your Zoom, like in the Zoom waiting room now, we have video. So all my clients, I, I create a video for them with their song. And um, so they, you know, it, it's a, there's a lot of different ways that you can um that that you can reach people with your song they can hear it on your on your uh, answering machine they can hear um any number of videos all kinds of places like that so it really is something that people and for sure speakers when they walk on stage there's a lot of different ways that people can have their songs be heard now yeah and it really anchors that message i guess that you know that kind of the connection between you and your message and that piece of music becomes stronger and stronger so yeah. tell us a little bit about the presentation that you're going to be giving us on the 1st of April. Well, I'm just going to talk a little bit about, about song branding, audio branding, and, and how people can use it, uh, different way, things that they want to look for when they're creating taglines that are maybe less like a mission statement and more like a song. <laughs> nice. Right? Because as a songwriter, it's it's just to, to give people a sense of how they can start to use or think about using music to amplify their brand and to really um, have more impact and to be unforgettable. That's beautiful. And I you are offering a VIP gift. So people who um, upgrade to the VIP version of the, the summit where they get the full recordings are also going to get a gift from you. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's a, an audio brand audit. So I'll go through people's, uh, you know, whatever their assets are, and see where they're using music now, because most people use music somewhere, but they miss the, the opportunity to use it in a much more powerful way. So they'll use it to kind of like create a feeling or pump up the energy and of something. But what they don't do is they don't create uh, an instant recognition for who they are. They don't necessarily um, make their message. They, they don't incorporate their tagline into that. They just miss a lot of opportunities to have way more impact. Wow. And then to be consistent over 10 years or 20 years, right? You so, have to love yeah, it if so you're going to use it for 10 years. Yeah, yeah. So so it, the, the older, like McDonald's has been using that that theme for 20 years now. So they, it cost them $6 million for that in the beginning. You know, they had Justin Timberlake and a big deal doing that. But now amortized over 20 years, that's only 300000 a year. And all it's done is grown in value. So, you know, people like us can do that too. Ah, yes, we can. And um, yeah. I'm thinking I probably need an audio audit as well considering that i've used different music at different times and the consistency is probably not there so yeah. i would encourage anybody watching if you have your own business if you're a small business owner entrepreneur um or even if you 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 work with a bigger business but you might have some a say in there that might be heard sometime um yeah. ceos maybe um big directors come along to our summit and um learn more from lowry get your vip gift get your audit done and we hope to see you all there we have um so much on offer for this year's summit and i'm absolutely so honored and delighted lowry that you're joining us again because i think yours is such a unique and special offering and um the more of us that use it the better our message and mission can get out there Thanks, Aideen. I'm so pleased to be part of it again this year. It was fantastic last year. You do such a great job with this. Thank you for, for inviting me. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Okay. See you then.